thing is for the young entrepreneur of the year. Now, for artists and art lovers alike, when we talk about making art accessible, no conversation is really complete without taking her name. Eight years ago, a young executive decided to take a huge risk. She admits that she knows very little, knew very little about art at that time, but decided to make a business about bringing artists and art lovers together under one umbrella. In its eighth year now, the India Art Fair is the third largest art fair in the world in the world. And of course, to give her this award, I'd like to call upon uh, stage one of our uh, cultural icons, conservationists, Mr. Rajiv Sethi, if we could call you up on stage. Uh, he's worked so hard to persevere and educate all of us about uh, the variety of art and talent in this country. Uh, Mr. Sethi, if you could come up to give uh, the award to the managing director and founder of the India Art Fair, Neha Kirpal. Siti, if I could actually ask you, uh, many years ago, I'm not going to date myself over here, but I remember when you began the Festival of India uh, way back in <laughs> the last century, right? Uh, but from something like the Festival of India, which told us all about sort of variety of art, culture, music, fine arts in the country, to something like the India Art Fair, what do you think the journey has really been? Well, I think Pranoy began by speaking about soft power. And I think in this age today when uh, everybody is hearing about this, the brilliance of made in India, I think the stage that really gives us the edge and we are getting there is really create an India, to design an India, to take it to a step where we create original content that gives us a place in the knowledge economy, not just as some people who do others' homework, but something that brings us right out there. Right. I think what the art fair has done is to take it, uh, of course, make us part of the very large marketplace. But I now know that uh, uh, she will take it, she has the strength to take it to beyond just the art. I mean, we, we, we're wearing two coats. One is a, a contemporary embroidery and Hers is a traditional embroidery, but both wonderful. But the works of hand, one that sort of takes us hundreds of years and one that continues to be, but made by people from a traditional background. Now, Neha, you really need to do something that uh, what we wear also becomes part of the art fair. And what you really need to do is to bring traditional craftspeople. I'm sure you're going to do that. And I'm sure you have We've already to... made a beginning. That's <laughs> right. So Neha, that is what In really fact, is. You're, you just concluded the eighth uh, art fair. You say that you knew nothing about art when you decided to go into this. What made you do that? Well, thank you for this award and NDTV to support the arts in the way that you do. Uh, just taking further from what Pranoy said, soft power, I think it's about soul power. I think you know, this country and, and the artists in this country have something phenomenal that a lot of people like me growing up in this country have not seen and not experienced. And so the objective of the art fair and everything else that we do is really to make it accessible. And someone said that in 15 years you may have to go abroad to see the best of Indian art. So I think it's up to all of us, uh, private sector, <coughs> collectors, corporates, government, and the public to really patronize and support the arts here and make it a part of our lives. It's, it's a civic need that isn't, isn't just a pursuit for the elite, uh, an average middle class startup uh, and many more to come in the cultural sector can make art more and more reachable 
to right, more so people. a different kind of startup story here tonight. But Neha Gripal, thank you so much no, 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 for I, I bringing it to all of us. about going out to see the art. I had, you're going to make the whole <laughs> world come to here India to see and the see arts. it. So the creative spaces that are shrinking, Absolutely. you are the one who's going to make it expand to a point where the world wants to come be a part of it. Thank right. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Just to say, in the eighth edition of the Art Fair, we've now officially adopted the South Asian region as as, uh, as something that we will support. So it's not just artists from India, but a particular focus to Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and Afghanistan. look at the Afghanistan. Right. And we invite, we invite government to now collaborate in whatever way they like, as media does, as corporations do, to support the arts. Thank you very much. I'd just much. like to say what Thank you. politicians cannot do, culture can. Right. Soft power, as Pranoy said. Thank you all.